Welcome to another In Wheel Time podcast, a 30-minute mini version of the In Wheel Time car show that airs live every Saturday morning, 8 to 11 a.m. Central. Shield.com. <laughs> we right. don't know what we're doing, but thanks for joining us anyway on the In Wheel Time car talk show just ahead. Those hairy-legged boys from Victoria what? with news about the Hot Rod Tour of Texas. Can't wait. Later. Um, yeah. Jeffrey has this week's special feature. What's that special feature on? Well, uh, <laughs> the, I got a I got a four door Corvette, Corvette. Uh, and then I've got something later on for the, instead of the TV thing, I got just Jeff's rant. Jeff's. Well, I don't care about that. Okay, whatever well, you got I've coming got, up this yeah, half. Hour. I got something coming up. I know you do. <laughs> I'll also have uh, some of the stories making automotive <laughs> news headlines if I can find uh. them. Welcome to the In Wheel Time Car Talk Show, everybody. So glad that you could join us today. And we're also really thrilled at the fact that the boys from the Hot Rod Tour of Texas are on the line with us. Gentlemen, Look good morning. That. Look Whoa. at those matching, good morning. Bl- matching blue shirts wow. standing in front of the state flag or something that's got a... Yeah, the Hot Rod Tour of Texas. That's flag. a trailer. Martha Stewart would yeah, be proud. Trailer, yep. I like... Did you that's get gonna a trailer? Be- that's where everybody's going to scan in at all the stops, and that's where they can pick up their merch and the registration packets and all that good stuff. Oh, my right, God. We've yeah. come a long way, baby. My goodness. <laughs> that's right. No, so no more did you, unloading the Yukon at every stop. Did you Did you guys just quit your full-time jobs and doing the hot have. rod tour now? They must have. No. Oh, no. <laughs> well, you've got to, you, you have a very understanding boss is all I can think. <laughs> I am the boss in my area. Are you? You're the boss. Okay. Well, that's, that's not good. what she said. Yeah. <laughs> She's in the merch trailer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There. That's it. The boss is in the merch trailer. Um, do you have the merch ready? Yes, sir. Yep. Yes, sir. And you know, I have to tell you right off the bat here that we sure appreciate our nice in wheel time hot rod tour of texas mugs that came yesterday i, I didn't open mine yet but you that's didn't? awesome no they're over there <laughs> okay over well there. we 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 we've moved the studio around a bit as you, as you could probably tell i know yeah. everything's yeah. changed yeah it it has changed a bit it was still in the same building configuration yeah, yeah. But the, the configuration inside. Wait till next week. You're going to see Leavenworth on the background. We, we, we can see it. <laughs> those, those people that are watching can't. See there? And look, it's even got custom names on there. Yeah. It's got the In Wheel time. time logo on there. And Mike's name and Jeff's name and my name oh, and all of the names and David's I, name. I think he's insinuating we might forget who we are. Well, you think, <laughs> there's that. Or I don't want to be drinking. I don't want to be drinking nasty coffee out of Mike's cup. I can tell Mike, you. don't drink no, coffee. Think that's right. No, you're you and brown your water. Tea. Yeah, yeah, you yeah buddy. That, that's it. So uh, very excited. Are we? Ex- are we? Are we ready to go? We're ready. Let's go. We're ready. Are you? Let's so, go. I, I like the way you're thinking. Let's go. Let's go. Because well, everybody yeah, else is thinking we, the same thing. You know, it's funny because all I can think of is all year long, I've been doing or having stuff done to my old, old Corvette mm-hmm. 2001 model to get it ready. It's got a new clutch in it now. Uh, we have we got the tires last year, um, the shifter last year, the shifter last year. We've got new seats in it this year, mm-hmm. so it won't drain you, the battery. You put anymore. new lights in it a year or so ago. Yeah, put new lights in it. So throughout the year, since I've been doing this tour, this will be the third tour. Uh, We're motivating you. You are. That's exactly right. <laughs> but to that point, on Facebook, all of the folks that are going to be on the tour have been listing their projects. You have a 55 Chevy with a new trans in it. Uh, you've got guys that are putting motors in specifically for yep. this tour. you got guys that are spending money on paint jobs and things like that. This is going to be awesome. It is. How many – How many, so how many – cars do you have registered we are 300 what was the number i gave you yesterday no we were eight we're eight short of 350 eight short of 350 so in other words you got, come on people cars. sign up so we so you've got eight slots left no nope, we're not we're selling closed. them we're closed we're closed okay all right well very good you missed it you missed it that's it. Well, well, yeah. and, and, and don get ready because next year we're gonna have some track time again closer to you guys oh really Ooh. Yeah. Can't, can't say where yet, but we're going to have track time next See year. See that they're 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 forward thinking hot rodders. Yeah. Yes. Well, oh, I, yeah. I, we're 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 already we already got two stops 
uh, tentatively secured for 25. Wow. That's nice. Yep. I, I like it. it. Well, a while. well, here's, here's, here's just a suggestion or at least an idea that I know that you've thought about and somebody else has probably beat me to the punch telling you, but I'm thinking about a fall event. Mm. <laughs> we, we're actually talk. we've talked about doing the uh, twisted sisters up in Lakey area. Just a one day, one day for the, the guys that really want to go have some fun with their cars. Where we'll is that? that. You talk, you, you, where is that? Uh, that is west of, west of Medina, San Antonio. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Up in that lakey. And it, it would be one of those deals where I could take off on a Friday, do the event on Saturday, and drive Somebody back on Sunday. In. See yeah, that's that, right. that that's what I'm like. Right. Yeah. And when we and did, we were, we were just a get we, together. We were actually trying to incorporate some of that route for the tour, but the roads are so narrow and really, really windy. If you break down, there's not exactly a, a, a shoulder to pull up on the side of the road. So you got to have a pretty reliable car there. Yeah. Well, uh, so all the more, more incentive for us to <laughs> pick up all of the studio stuff and bring it on the road for that fall event we and, can do set, that. and set up up there we can do at that. wherever the event's going to be held. Yeah, See? It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Well, uh, I think that, that that'd be good. I could do a one-day event uh, mm-hmm. just uh, yeah. around the San Antonio Well, area. we'd have to turn it into two-day, you know, just to kind of meander around. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, we Friday would be one of those... Drive over there, get it all set up, mm-hmm. Saturday morning, do the show, and then Saturday afternoon, have fun. Yeah, and then come back Sunday. That's right. Yeah. And then Saturday night, Saturday night really have fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's exactly right, because we've got cool the, we got, that, we got Saturday we night. That to, cool down time. That, yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> cool, yeah. cool down. Is that what show. you're calling it now? Yeah. The cool down time. <laughs> you young have, kids. Have a nice cold, uh, ice cold, refreshing beverage of your choice. Yes. <laughs> Uh, we 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 like those here, uh, Mars. Same here. Yeah, Mars likes the brown water. I'm not too much into that. It uh, really, it really does this boy uh, a bad thing the next day. <laughs> well, the, the way you cure that is you just don't stop. Ah, well, yeah. Hey, we do. We we do have some important information to share with everybody. Go for Please it. do. Um, if, if you're on the tour, make sure you watch our website and our Facebook page. Shiner Brewery has offered us a link uh, and increased their tour time so you can get sign up. You can pre-sign up for a slot for the tour. And also, you can pre-order your food for the day so it will be ready for you. Oh, that's great. That's a good idea. There's a link. We had a, we had a good meeting with them, a good conversation, and, and they, they're like, hey, we can do this for you guys. So you go, just click on that link. You can order it, pay for it right there, put your name in, and it'll be ready for you when you get there. So, well, And that's the second stop? Or I guess the first stop first after stop. you leave That'll Victoria. Be the That'll be yeah, the yeah. first stop Friday. Yeah, because good, uh, good, my, good. my tour reservation is at 1 o'clock. Oh. I got my tour reservation. Did you get a tour reservation? Well, I wasn't sure I was going to be there long enough, depending on how things work, because i got to get out ahead of everybody if we're doing the video yeah. and all that. Okay, well, uh, then you'll have to work with those guys. But that's, yeah, yeah. Thursday, that's maybe, Thursday night or Friday night? Maybe in an early tour. Friday. Yeah, I may and have to check Friday, with them. Fr- Friday morning. We're going to meet at the Rosebud Stadium in Victoria. We're going to have a little food taco food trailer there as well, so you can get your breakfast. There. I hope it's more than one because it's going to be overwhelmed. They're, they're they're prepared. They do a lot of big events. Okay, very good. They'll be they'll be ready for us. So for those people that don't know or joined this show for the first time today, it's the Hot Rod Tour of Texas. Bobby Sparkman, Jeremy Taylor, those are the two guys we're talking to here. The creators. The creators. Yes, and. Uh, and, and there's about ten of us now. Is there ten? Of us really in our group. Well, uh, and uh, your wonderful wife, who I don't know how she puts up with what you pull on her all he the time. He likes her in the merch you, you trailer. Can thank, y'all can thank her for the cups. She did them at one o'clock in the morning the other oh, night, wow. so she could get them to y'all. That is absolutely spectacular. <laughs> it's, awesome. it's oversized. It's brown water size. Brown, brown water <laughs> size. <laughs> um, are, are you going to have uh, something like that in the merch trailer? We, we're going to have some some general hot rod tour cups. We've got some tumblers. Um, she's been making a ton of stuff. Some okay. women's shirts. We've got we got big straw hats that got an embroidery uh, Ooh, hot rod tour logo on them. I it's want one the big of those hats for the shade. Yeah, we got some of those. A variety of these kind of shirts. Um, if you if you ordered the tour shirts, you got lucky because they're not going to be available on the tour. They're only pre ordered, and same as the tour hats. This is last year's hats. Then this year's are going to be blue and gray. Gotcha. Oh, so they're right. very, very exclusive, and we never reprint them. Once, once we're done, we never redo them. 
So tell everybody how the event works. So we're all going to gather up and get all registered and that sort of stuff uh, right. on Thursday. And in your packet this year, and in your packet this year, will be turn-by-turn uh, turn turn written directions also. Oh, wow. my God. Turn and by we're, s- not, we're not using road trippers because road trippers started charging. So Jeremy put together – uh, a map Google maps, Google maps that, that he'll share that link every day so everybody will have that as well. So when you when you get We're on the better. site, it's gonna be Jeremy going, turn right now. Go straight. <laughs> Recalculate. Google Maps doesn't do that. We would love Jeremy to do does. Google. Yeah. We, we, yeah, we, just listen. <laughs> we've been we've been trying to tell one of our guys that, that our IT guy Fidel, you need to do you need to work with Google and develop this app because there is a lot of need for it. Really? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I agree. Yeah, just a link and to there's it. there's nothing out there. Yeah. Well, there you have it. Not that they need any more money. No. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they could sell advertising through you guys. That's, that's the sure. way that, that's what that they should work. do. Yeah. So, Thursday night, where are we meeting? We're Down, meeting uh, downtown at the square or in the new plaza, actually. Deleon Plaza, yeah. Victoria. Okay. And, and it's been completely remodeled. I can't I don't even know the dollar amount they spent completely revitalizing our downtown area. Just for um, you. A lot of restaurants opened up. Today is the first event they're having. Chick-fil-A is having a 5K there. This is the first event downtown they're having since they've remodeled. That's great. But getting, it is a uh, getting is ready really, for really, the really, really, getting ready for the real big event that's coming up at the end uh, of the yes, month. Yes. And and we're partnered with the our Victoria Symphony. It will be their 50th anniversary. And Victoria's 200th bicentennial. Wow. Well, we, we so, got a lot to celebrate, yeah. don't we? Yeah, yeah it is. Yes. And, sure. and all the local businesses are going to be open downtown, the restaurants. There's some, some shops for the ladies to shop in. It, it, our downtown has really, really come a long ways in the past 10 years. What is it about an hour and a half or so uh, from uh, Sugar Land oh, yeah. down there to yeah. Victoria? Yep. Yep. It's yeah. About, right about an hour and a half. Yeah. So my, my goal. on that crazy traffic. Yeah, well, of course. Well, construction. But it's on too. Thursday, and um, we're planning on leaving uh, noon, one o'clock, something like that, so we can get there early, we'll, get checked in we'll at the hotel. There. Yeah, get checked in at the hotel, and then head on down early because, based on the last two years, I wound up two hours, three hours early, and its place is already packed. Yeah, yeah and the symphony's going to kick off before us. We'll kick off a little bit later in the afternoon, but. They think they start at five thirty or six thirty. Yeah, five thirty. They start at five thirty, so uh-huh. they'll start performing. And they've got uh, the orchestra is it's, this is the full orchestra, so it's sixty piece orchestra. So it's it's a big, 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 oh big, big deal. Going to be uh, sitting up outside we, on the mm-hmm. square. Out, yeah. outside, outside on the yeah. stage, and we we've, we've also got another company called Psy Acoustics that us, the symphony, and the city of Victoria partnered with, and they're going to have oh, wireless wireless Wi Fi all the way down the street. So all down the street, you'll be able to hear the music. Great. Oh my God. So how, Sing how, along. how, yeah, but okay. Wireless <laughs> Wi Fi powered by right. uh, through the speakers or yeah, something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, speaker, yeah. yeah there's speaker towers. It'll be down the, all the way down the street. Oh, that is awesome. Well, We're you trying know, to, trying to kind of spread the, the event throughout the, the downtown area. Sure. Yeah. Make that, that's awesome. Well, uh, does everybody know we're coming? Everybody knows we're yeah. coming. Yep. Well, all we the see. Cities, the all the, <laughs> There's uh, some folks that are commenting on the some site. Of the small towns are really rolling out the red carpet this year. Wow. Well, uh, yeah. It, you know, and I've mentioned this every time I talk to you. That I think one of the greatest things that I saw a couple, and one of the cities that we went through uh, outside was the school, Yoko, and all the school Yoko, children Yoko. were out there, mm-hmm. and we were all waving and honking as we went by. And then the other one uh, was at Yokum. That had the fire truck. Yoko was the first one, and then the other one was Mission Valley, where all the school kids were outside. Yeah, that was last year. Yeah, yeah. and uh, and the whole city turned out, and it was like a big parade of us going through downtown. I, I don't know how long it took for all of us to get through, probably 30, 40 minutes. We, we were 15 miles long last year at 300 cars, and we're right at three, almost 350 now. Wow. And, uh, well, I'm really excited. Uh, and uh, I've seen uh, on y'all's uh, website and, and Facebook page as well uh, some of the cars because guys have been posting their cars. Oh, I'm yeah. bringing this. I've been working on it for the past year. Trying look what to get I ready. did. Yeah, look what I did kind of kind of thing. Uh, it's, uh, it's a lot there's, of fun. There's a cup maker. There, a cup maker. Ah, <laughs> thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Yes, it's yes. good to see you. <laughs> Great size. Yeah, we appreciate it. Well, we, uh, 
Go ahead. I, I just want to. I just want to say we really appreciate you guys' support, man. You guys have been. been y'all have been, the been there from the start, and and not not only just supporting us, but but actively being a participant and, and joining us for the for the fun. I mean, really and truly, we're we're not doing this for the money. We're doing it. We're doing it to get everybody together, get people's cars out of the garage, out of a static car show, and drive them and, and share them with everybody else. Mm-hmm. That that was the mission and the goal from the very start. Well, I have to tell you, you've done a great job doing it, and we thank you for allowing us to kind of elbow our way <laughs> along on, on the tour with you guys. But we it's been it. a lot we of fun. And I understand that we're also going to stop uh, at that great uh, facility. Uh, what's the name of it? Uh, the, the, the Hot Rod Shop. Oh, Samson, Samson Restoration. Samson Restoration, Samson Restoration again Samson this year. Restoration. We'll be there again. That's, uh, another, that's... another 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 three year sponsor. Uh, they they've been fantastic and, and long term friends even before before we started this. We've been friends with them for a long time and, and and sent them quite a bit of work. Some good good customers for them. So and that's Friday uh, night. That's Friday night. That will be Friday Friday before the drive in. Right, Friday afternoon, so to speak. Kind yeah. of end up there Friday right. evening. Friday end yep, Friday end of the evening. day. Yeah, that's okay. correct. Because we're doing some, the same as we did. We're doing some things with them, or you're doing. We're going to do filming and interviews and things there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And yeah. then we're and then Saturday, Saturday's was has been a has been the chore this year. We're we're feeding everybody, which was quite the task. <laughs> I'll bet. And we're going to do that. We're going to do that at Archway Resorts in Fredericksburg, and it is a phenomenal facility. Yes, beautiful facility. Inside and outside, they Can't got a wait. really, really large back covered patio area that's that's just loaded with chairs. Beautiful. It overlooks their amphitheater, but it's going to be a it's going to be quite the stop. And it's a, a brewery, a distillery, and a winery, and a farm to table restaurant all in one house. Be still, my heart. Are they going to going to be awesome. able to hold three hundred and fifty cars in the parking lot? Oh yeah, oh yeah, easily. Okay, good. Easily. I like that. We'll be taking up the cut side there. Yeah, <laughs> and, and they're working on they're working on developing that that facility. Just it, it's going to be mind blowing in another year or two. And that's uh, up in Fredericksburg. Yes, yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. Now we're right, staying right down the right down the street from the the Wild Seed Farm. Okay, because I, I, yeah. I and then Sunday Sunday we will wrap up and look at Bach Texas. Stop. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're yeah. going to go to Luke Everybody's and Bob. somebody there. Yeah, yeah, that's what I that's what I heard in a song somewhere along the way. Well, Dell Watson says anyway. Yeah, <laughs> um, but we will uh, make sure every stop, including the kickoff, everywhere you come to the trailer and look for somebody to scan you. We're going to scan this year instead of the markers to make sure you get registered for the Road Warrior plates, the license plates that you get at the end. Yep. Those are those are those are earned little license plates. We don't sell them to anybody. If you if you didn't make all the stops, you don't get one. Ah, oh, gotcha. And they're pretty cool this year. They're pretty they're, they're different than last year, but but very cool. Very nice. And um, so, where is it going to end on Sunday to get that plate? Look at Luke Bach, Texas. Texas, and Luke yes. and Bach. Okay, all right. And Luke and Bach, and we've got our, we've got our own hot rod tour of Texas bartender this year. Yeah. There'll be a little <laughs> sign set up to take care of us. Very nice. Well, I, I've been to Luke and Bach, and I'll tell you what, there's not a whole lot there. <laughs> Good barbecue. Well, but it's grown. Yeah, I know. And they got a great dance hall, too. Uh, I'll, I'll, it, it, was a, it was another place everybody wanted to stop again. Yeah, well, I, I'm looking forward to it. I, uh, I'll tell you, and I've told so many people this year, I said, you know, this is what I got into the hobby, the sport of hot rodding, if you will. Yep. I don't yeah, consider, us. yeah, I don't consider my car a true hot rod in the sense of the word, but, um, it's all about the camaraderie and the friendship and the new people Amen. that you get to meet. Amen. And then to me, that's what it, what it's all about. And the car brings right. it all together. And, and, and if y'all notice, y'all have done it enough with us. We really, really, really work hard to try to try to keep the stops all mom and pop owned and operated businesses. Absolutely. Very, you won't hardly ever see a stop at any corporate businesses. Yeah. Well, uh, you've done a great job, and I, it's evolved uh, unbelievably in the past two years. And I know that it, from what you tell us and uh, all the stuff that you've got lined up this year, it's going to continue to grow. And, uh, gentlemen, I can't thank you enough. And, Jeremy, I guess we're going to talk to you again later on about some yeah, sort of an event. Again. Yeah, <laughs> about a, an event coming up that you've got. And we drove. We all drove up, or what, 10 of us? About 10 of us here. Yeah. We drove up two hours to get the River Rod in New Braunfels. We're, we're here in New Braunfels. We're almost residents. <laughs> <laughs> they've, got a, they've, got a big, they've got a big car show here that we support every year, and, 
and we get a we get a vendor spot and bring a bunch of cars and hang out with these guys. A really cool show here. Well, see, another you, amazing you, thing. Well, you uh, need to let us know because we're always looking for something to do outside of the tour. So uh, this is a good one. Yeah, well, that'd be a that has been a good weekend to do it too. Yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, it's perfect. Going to be perfect weather today too. Well, uh, I, I I pity you, poor people up there, uh, <laughs> because you got the eclipse people moving in tomorrow, and that ought to be yeah. a real sight to see. And there may not be there may not be coffee in here. <laughs> ah, you've been hanging out with Mars. I'll drink to that. <laughs> Bobby Sparkman, Jeremy Taylor, Hot Rod Tour of Texas. Find out more either through Facebook, our uh, our website, right? Yes, and uh, also uh, on our, y'all's our website, website too. Yep. Yeah, our website is is www.hotrodtouroftexas.com. Really Very easy. good, gentlemen. Thank you so much, and good luck. And we'll see you in a couple of weeks. You guys are the best. Thanks. Can't wait to see y'all. You too. Uh, Thanks. Appreciate it. All right. (laughs) This guy's. Can you imagine being around those guys all the time? Yeah, I know. It'd be great. It'd be hard to keep up with them. No doubt. All right. Let's take a quick break here. This is the In Wheel Time Car Talk Show. Thank you very much for joining us today. We'll be right back. Pro Am Auto Accessories has been serving Houston's auto enthusiasts since 1984, providing world class products for sports cars, European sedans, and American muscle. Pro-Am is known as the place to go to find exclusive and hard-to-find parts and accessories. Pro-Am is one of the very first distributors in the USA for brands such as Recaro, Redline, Momo, Corbo, and Simpson. Located in the heart of Houston's premier retail and service corridor, the Galleria area, Pro-Am's walk-in storefront includes an 8,000-square-foot warehouse, showroom, and installation bays. Pro-Am not only sells parts and accessories, but also offers installation and service. Pro-Am is now reaching a worldwide audience through ProAm.com, taking its local reputation to the rest of the world. At Pro-Am Auto, you'll be dealing with a small group of professionals who truly want to help you with your automotive needs. If you don't see what you're looking for on the website, call and Pro-Am will lend you a hand. Pro-Am Auto, 6125 Richmond at Green Ridge and Houston's Galleria area. Call them at 713-781-7755. Want to feel good about something special you did for someone special? In Wheel Time and the original Loopy Tortilla Group of Tex-Mex restaurants have joined together to help a very worthy cause, God's Garage, a Christian-based 501c3 charity. We know there are lots of places and organizations out there where you can donate a car, truck, or SUV, but we're asking you, our car enthusiast family, to consider donating to God's Garage. Visit godsgarage.org and learn about its mission, the women that have been helped, how each one is screened, and about their Restore You program. A car donation is an easy way to make a difference in the lives of others. God's Garage needs good operating vehicles, but will take all types in working and non-working condition. Make your heart and soul feel good by donating your gently used vehicle and help support single mothers, widows, and wives of deployed military at godsgarage.org. Mecham Auctions, the world's largest collector car auction company, returns to Houston, Texas, April 4th through the 6th at NRG Center, featuring 1,000 muscle cars, Corvettes, trucks, customs, and more. Broadcast on Motor Trend TV and streaming live on Max. From avid collectors to those new to the Mecham experience, we welcome everyone. Register to bid now at Mecham.com. Welcome back to the In Wheel Time Car Talk Show. Thank you very much for joining us on this Saturday. Some of the stories making automotive news headlines this week. Toyota Motor and Honda Motor benefiting from increasing stockpiles. Posted double-digit increases in March U.S. sales with car demand outpacing light truck growth at both companies. Toyota said volume rose 22% to 214,894 vehicles last month, with the Toyota division up 23% and Lexus gaining 17%. Toyota in North America's total car sales advancing 36%, while light truck deliveries rose 16% last month. At American Honda, volume rose 15%. U.S. sales edged up for the second straight month at Hyundai, setting a March record, while Kia delivery slipped for the fourth straight month. Uh, Overall, light U.S. vehicle sales projected to rise 4.7% to 12% in March, 4.5% to uh, 5.6% in the first quarter, based on the range estimates from J.D. Power Global Data. Market continues to rebound from the pandemic and chip shortage, 
fueled by solid retail demand and fleet shipments, but is becoming more competitive as inventories recover broadly, notably at Honda and Toyota. But with pent-up demand largely met now, growth is slowing as elevated new vehicle prices keep some consumers on the sidelines, and some automakers are already redirecting excess inventory to fleet channels. Speaking of which, Ford Motor Company said Thursday it's delaying plans for a new electric pickup and three-row electric utilities amid slowing demand for EVs. Huh. Imagine Imagine that. that. Meanwhile, it aims to offer hybrid variants now on each gasoline-powered vehicle in its lineup by the end of the decade. As the number two EV brand in the U.S. for the past two years, Ford's committed to scaling a profitable EV business using capital wisely and bringing to market the right gas, hybrid, and electric vehicles at the right time, according to Jim Farley, the CEO. Using capital wisely. Uh Uh-huh. Our breakthrough next-generation EVs will be new from the ground up. And fully software-enabled, with ever-improving digital experiences and a multitude of potential services. Somebody wrote that for him. He did not (laughs) say those words. He he wasn't even thinking them. (laughs) Shares in Ford stock fell (laughs) 1.6% to $13.43 in afternoon trade. That's because he didn't write it. If you wrote it, it would have (laughs) tanked. It'd be back down around 7 again. I I like the way that... You know, they said to Biden in the world, oh, we're going all electric quickly, as quickly as we can. Yeah. Well, not, not so, so fast. <laughs> let's let's rethink that a bit. Uh, a little bit. And Norway's Wallenius Wilhelmsen ASA, oh. one of the largest car shipping companies, said it expects a $5 million to $10 million hit to its earnings Oof, from don't the you know. Baltimore Bridge disaster. The impact <laughs> is a result of the reduction in logistics operations in Baltimore, one of its ships being unable to exit the port and other disruptions to operations, the company said in a statement. Some of the effects have been mitigated by the rerouting of cargo to and from other U.S. terminals. East Coast ports have been modifying their operations to absorb cargo diverted from Baltimore to Hmm. Harbor, uh, where salvage specialists have been clearing debris from the destroyed Francis Scott Key Bridge, a horrible disaster there. Insurers and reinsurers could face billions of dollars in claims, analysts said, with one putting the cost as much as $4 billion. That would make the tragedy a record shipping insurance loss. And, of course, you know, it hasn't. The end of that story has not been written yet, so yeah. we'll, well see. I, I don't understand why the insurance companies are worried if the American taxpayers are going to pay to fix the bridge. Well, that's just it. Well, We're, it's the, the shipping aspect, uh, of it. Yeah. Oh, not okay. just the bridge. Okay. Just, uh, okay. Well, yeah. if What's you got on? insurance, why do we need to pay for it? I'm just well, saying. <laughs> And uh, consumers interested in buying or selling a vehicle online with some dealership support remain steady in 2023, according to Car Guru's sixth annual U.S. Consumer Insights report. What's more, a majority of younger consumers want to fully purchase a vehicle online, the report found. Do you not drive it? You just, oh, I want that one. Yep. Okay. Spend your $50,000 and get something that you've never driven before. Yeah. The report's findings suggest more consumers want to embrace the idea of shopping for a vehicle completely online. Car Gurus found 81% of consumers either went entirely online to research what vehicle to buy or both online and in person. 77% did so uh, to assess the value of a car to be sold, while 69% used one or both options to solicit it offers to sell their vehicle. Mm-mm-mm. All right. Well, that's it for this hour of the In Wheel Time Car Talk Show. We'll have more coming up right after a quick break. So we hope that you are going to stay with us. The original group of Loopy Tortilla Restaurants will have you telling your family and friends just what the original recipes mean when it comes to the best fajitas in Southeast Texas. Founder Stan Holt invites you to visit the original Loopy Tortilla near I-10 and Highway 6. Here's the original house that inspired the design of all the rest and the original charm that helped make Loopy Tortilla the go-to destination for Houston Tex-Mex. Speaking of original, nothing can compete with the original lime pepper marinade that everyone will agree makes Loopy Tortilla award-winning beef fajitas the best anywhere. Loopy Tortilla Katie is another location that gives you the same quality and service Houstonians have come to expect at Loopy's. It's located just off I-10 of the Grand Parkway at Kingsland Boulevard in Katie. 
Find yourself in Aggie land? Head to the Loopy Tortilla and College Station, located just around the corner from Kyle Field. It's a great place to enjoy those famous frozen margaritas before or after the game. Headed east to Louisiana? Stop in at the Loopy Tortilla in Beaumont. It twos on I-10. You can't miss it. The original group of Loopy Tortilla restaurants invites you in for the best Tex-Mex anywhere. You own a car you love. Well, why not let Gulf Coast Auto Shield protect it? Houstonian John Gray invites you to his state-of-the-art facility to introduce you to his specialist team of auto enthusiasts. We promise you'll be impressed. Whether you're looking to massage your original paint to a like-new appearance, apply a ceramic coating, install a paint protection film, nano-ceramic window tent, or new windshield protection called ExoShield, Gulf Coast Auto Shield is where Houston's car people go. Curbed your wheels? Instead of buying new, why not have them repaired? How about a professionally installed radar detector? Gulf Coast Auto Shield does that, too. Get a peek inside the shop and look at the services offered by getting online and heading to gcautoshield.com. Better yet, stop by their facility at 11275 South Sam Houston Tollway, just south of the Southwest Freeway, and get a personal tour. Gulf Coast Auto Shield is your place to go for all things exterior. Call them today, 832-930-5655 or gcautoshield.com. That's it for this podcast episode of the In Wheel Time Car Show. I'm Don Armstrong, inviting you to join us for our live show every Saturday morning, 8 to 11 a.m. Central on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and our InWheelTime.com website. Podcasts are available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, iHeart Podcast, Podcast Addict, TuneIn, 